Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is from In Utero producer Steve Albini, where he talks about his favorite songs on In Utero. I did an interview with Steve Albini where he went into the details about the making of In Utero. If you want to see that interview, it's linked below. Quote, There's always one or two songs on any given session that strike you as being the money shot. Like, wow, this is an amazing song. This is where everything came together. And this is really great. For me, that was the Milk It song, or whatever it ended up being called, and Scentless Apprentice. Those are the two that struck me as being the biggest step for the band. They seem like the biggest break with their aggressive pop style that they were developing for themselves. They seem the most adventurous sonically, and the most up my alley anyway. On both of those, there were two vocal takes. There was one take that was singing the whole of the song, and one take where Kurt was just singing part of the song to emphasize them or parts of the song with a different sound quality. There is a really dry, really loud voice that comes zooming up at the end of Milk It, a vocal that's really dry and uncomfortably loud. That was something that was also done at the end of Rape Me, where he wanted the sound of him screaming to just take over the whole of the band.